in a world of bad fonts. There was bootylicious, hot nude girls. Um, a lot of those things are, you know, I'm playing a Duke Nukem game. I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And this is Duke Nukem Time to Kill. We can tell this is Duke Nukem because it, it's Duke Nukem driving on a motorcycle, which, would he drive that? I kind of feel Duke would drive like a, a Humvee or something. So we're, we're in the Bootylicious establishment. The Terminator is is showing up outside. Never actually played this one. What? Okay. Fuck your bike. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I wonder if John St. John's watching this at home. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. Ah, that was too much gravel in it. Um, so yeah, there was a bunch of third-person uh, Doom action games that came out on consoles only. Uh, there's this one, there's Land of the Babes, and there's Zero Hour. I played Zero Hour on the N64. I actually really, really liked that game back in the day. Oh, that's a lot of Photoshop explosions. That doesn't quite look like a pipe bomb. I mean, he, 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 just that, that pig cop just got disintegrated. Duke! Duke! You need to destroy the entire city block! Whatever, Matt. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, zero hours. Stabbing westward! Oh my god! Right in the fields. Oh, Jesus. I actually never really listened to them. Uh, just that name is synonymous with 1998. Um, GT Interactive. God, I don't think they're around anymore. They got absorbed into 2K or whatever. And there's the Maestros at 3D Realms. I, yeah, but they're not coming to get some anymore. Um... So yeah, I don't know what to expect with this one. I, I don't even remember if these were well-reviewed at the time. Holy shit, N-Space. Okay. I, I didn't know about this. Um, N-Space, uh, they, they, I think the the most famous they ever got, they developed Geist on the GameCube. Uh, and the last thing they ever did was uh, Heroes of Ruin, the really bad 3DS uh, Diablo-like uh, that I was forced to test for a while, and I didn't, I didn't particularly enjoy that. Um, so that, whoa, that's spoilers, holy shit. Okay, there's two players, too. Um, so yeah, that looks like a PlayStation game, for sure. Anything in the game settings? Auto-aim, gore is lots. I like, yeah, I like, is gore is okay? Is okay. Uh, let's go to one player. Um, and let's, uh, get some, I guess. Okay, so... Off the bat, this doesn't look terrible, but A, um, this is pre-dual shock controls, so it's just the D-pad, unfortunately. Um, and it's kind of the, the, the Tomb Raider style, as you can sort of sort of see. What else do I have? Okay. Got a, kind of an over-the-shoulder thing. Uh, that's used something, I don't really know. Oh, shit! F -f are those boxes? Are those supposed to be pit? That looks terrible. Okay, no, just everyone, just, I'm trying to Duke Nukem. That's really bad. That's a really bad character model, even for the PlayStation. Oh, armor, okay. Well, there's a lock on, which is you good. Want some of this? <laughs> As you slowly fade into the floor. Kind of, kind of. I'm, I'm going to keep working on the impression, don't worry. Um... So there's 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 Andy Andy I'm sure he was a programmer. Oh okay I have shoot, I have a terrible jump. Oh that's bad. Ooh I can backflip though. That's not. This is so Tomb Raider. Holy shit. Huh. I can't I can't I I can only do it sometimes. Those those backflips. Wait maybe I have to hold jump. No, holding jump just makes him constantly... Whatever, we'll figure it out. Circle is a holstered gun. Uh, when I have the gun holstered, I can't seem to attack. Uh, that's kind of strange, actually. Oh, shit. You can only select weapons from pausing. I'll kick you in the nuts. <laughs> wow, Duke. Amazing word. That, that's the kick! <laughs> Oh my god, what were they thinking with that? Okay, let's go back to my Desert Eagle. Alright, Desert Eagle. Ooh, there is 
what seems to be some type of secret aria. And atomic health. That should, uh, 106, so top me off past. Um, okay, I don't really understand what, is this like a, okay, I can't jump. I can't jump the traditional way. This is what happens when I jump forward. Sometimes? Oh man, early 3D PlayStation games. God damn. Okay, okay, oh, okay wait. Hold, I can kind of do it. That's so awkward. I. There better not be any platforming segments that require precision, because that ain't gonna happen. And, and kill you, why not? You're, oh, oh, or not. Just do your own thing. Okay, just slowly go here. <laughs> hey, big cop. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I, I guess I better get back down here and shoot him. Just give me a second to use my free look command. Ah! Okay, how did I... Can I... Alright, so can I not actually... If I'm holding a gun, can I not... I cannot... Fuck! Are you serious? So we see a what seems to be a dominatrix. She has a riding crop, and there is a very boxy, sharp bed over there to go along with her sharp angles as well. Um, what else we got? We got a, this is a very basic apartment. To be fair, it serves all the human needs. There's no, there's no fridge, but that's okay. Still stunning though that I can see my reflection. I'm still amazed. I'm God's gift to women. Hey, what can I say? I'd fuck me. All right, let's see if... Now, a problem here is if I want to talk, and Duke, Duke interacts with the ladies sometimes, hey, did you know? That uh, he has some very 1990s things to say to uh, the fair sex. So we're going to see if he can say anything. But unfortunately, to interact with like this mirror, it's to shoot. Hey, what can I say? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, I got to press shoot bang. So I'm nervous about trying to talk to this lady. Maybe I'll holster my gun, see if that works. Turn out the lights and I'll show you the meaning of pain. And I, I guess that's it. This is this is the amount of interaction in this environment, I guess. I could just kind of vaguely move towards this lady. And that's it. Is this a switch? Did she move out of the way and that's a switch though? Maybe I'm selling this game a bit short. Oh shit, yeah. I can't see crap. Look at this, is this is like look at this artistic shot. One perfect shot, Duke Nukem, time to kill. All right, the bed kind of moved. I can kind of see, am I gonna? Pipe bombs, okay, just to get pipe bombs, that's fine. Can I turn this back on so I can see? I cannot, are you serious? Yes, thank God. Yeah, so that's that someone kindly left pipe bombs underneath their bed. Okay, so I figured out the side jump. You have to press jump, then quickly press left and right to, to get it to work. If you press it, if you press uh, left, then jump, it doesn't work. He just doesn't jump at all. Like, it cancels it out. So jump, then left. That's... Oh, God. Is that even going to come into play? It's such a slow fucking move. All right. I doubt I'm going to make this jump. I wasn't as athletic as I was before. All right. Yeah! <laughs> uh, did you hear that? That was a recycled noise from Duke Nukem 3D. Like it was a different audio quality. Yes! That's how it works, okay. Oh, I'm finding all the secrets up in this bitch. The Gatling gun, that's, you know, in terms of Duke Nukem games, that's not bad because there never was a Gatling gun in, in Duke Nukem 3D at least. I mean, it had the um, uh, the Ripper, but it wasn't really a Gatling gun uh, with the rotating barrel. That's the distinction I'm making here in case you were confused. I still only have my Desert Eagle and my Mighty Kick. Don't even know what city this is supposed to be in. It could be Los Angeles. It could be New York. It kind of bounces around Duke Nukem where, where his, uh, his base of operations is. Gator Bait Sunscreen. That looks like Vector from Sonic. I'm going to assume that's Vector from Sonic. Uh, so I think we can still go into the Bootylicious. Um, I want, like... Did Destiny's Child or uh, Beyonce, did they, did, is that a copyright infringement? 
I guess it's not unless Beyonce like appears as like a special character or something. You know, James Bond girls show up and they're they're famous actresses. Maybe if if Beyonce was a Duke Nukem girl, that'd be so messed up. What the fuck is this? Is this a statue of who? Please tell me it's a statue of Duke Nukem. It's just a generic polygon fighting man. All right, let's set up in Bootylicious. This better this better fucking pay off. There, there better be, you know, considerable cabooses in this. <laughs> my home away from home. Which is my home. I, I actually have a bed in the back. Yeah, yeah. So boxy, girl. I love it. Duke loves it. He's jumping for joy. Can I interact with this, with this polygon woman? Ooh, yeah. God, this, um... <laughs> oh, did you see her fucking torso ripping half? Watch, I'll try to do it real fast. <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that, that's awesome! She's like a Lego woman. Oh, Duke. <laughs> oh, Duke, thank you for vaguely throwing your arms somewhere. Ooh, do that again. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, yeah, in space, um, I, I guess they have to do this game in a hurry. Oh, uh, there I am. There's that mirror tech. Is, is, she, is she much the same? Can I jump up on the stage? I can, sort of. Alright, now, now, I think Duke would be a great pole dancer, a great stripper. Hey, ladies, I'm Duke Nukem. Just more to me than to love, honey. It's a booty-licious, not, uh, not a licious or booty, actually. Uh... It's kind of disappointing. I'm gonna give it two stars on Yelp. If you are looking for a gentleman's club in the city, you, you could you could do better, honestly. Oh way I spoke too soon. Does Booty Licious have booty secrets? <gasps> Gotta keep on my guard. God, those are terrible. That's like N64. Not even N64, that's like 32X, that character model. Ammo full, but this looks like a completely different weapon. Did I pick up a shoddy? I did. Now my pipe bomb, but I'm not gonna use that. You skanky outfit. It's a green top and shorts, Duke. It's fine. Christ, that's terrible. How dare he create? Look at what he's wearing. He's wearing fucking denim and boots hiked up all the way. Oh shit. And hiked all the way up, it's not impressive. It's not an outfit that I would consider braggable. Alright, I think there's the subway, and that's about it. <laughs> that, that, that's this entire city. It's built around one strip club and one subway system. Amazing. Alright, let's see what wonders awaits us here. Nice! That wasn't too bad. Was it? Oh, well, security key card. That seems, that seems, that seems useful. <laughs> I used a card. <laughs> okay, I, I thought he was just gonna interact with it, but uh, that that works too. Ah, uh, just knock back a tall glass of cruel. Honestly, I don't even know why they decided to make a third-person game. I guess it was just simply to rip off Tomb Raider. Like, I don't know what advantages this affords itself really. Like, why couldn't it just be a its own like first-person shooter campaign? It's not really pushing any boundaries here now, is it? So this supposedly has some vague time, like, hopping mechanic or something? Maybe not mechanic. Okay. Wah, wah. Damn it. That wasted fucking ammo for no reason. Um, Zero Hour was time hopping as well, I think. I, I don't really recall. Awesome! I killed everyone! Because the movement's so slow and delayed. And am I jumping so bad that I don't think, you know, I'm, I'm really that versatile or, like, have a lot of agility to avoid things? Like, at least Lara had a bit of acrobatic finesse. Re-entry point? Is that... Is that how they're trying to say... Checkpoint? Why don't you just say checkpoint? Wow, there's fucking swimming? Uh... That's that's actually somewhat impressive. I didn't I didn't think it would even have that at least. 
I'd like to get out of the water. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Holy shit. Lock and load. That's a lot of sh That's actually too much shotgun ammo. I don't think I need all that. You have to be perfect. Oh, fuck. You have to be perfectly straight with, with whatever it is. Uh, either an interactable or the ladder or whatever. If you're just a little tiny bit off on the side, uh, Duke refuses, refuses to progress. Like that, yeah, yeah, I was mashing it. Only when, only when I was flush against it. Having a conversation with the ladder. What a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. What a fear in my heart. Transport room ID. Okay, so now I have the transport room ID in the blue crystal. Now, do I defeat the final boss? Oh my god. All right, that's it. It's gonna be some time to kill. Hmm, wonder what makes this thing tick? Let's put in a fucking thing. I can't fucking do it. There goes nothing. Nothing happened. Wait, am I supposed to collect three of these things? I'm not doing that. Just go on the teleporter. That's enough. What? Yeah. There you go. Done. Damn it. can't be serious. This is the first level. I have to collect three of these things? Alright, I'm, I'm still playing. I uh, <laughs> found another fucking crystal. Looks like I'm going to have to jump. Fuck. There's another re-entry point. That just makes me so fucking angry that anyone would ever call it that. Fuck that pig guy. It's so hard to judge jump distances too in this. Jesus. All right, let's let's give this a go. I fucking did it! Hooray for me! Just want the stupid crystal shard. Just something I thought I would never say playing a Duke Nukem game. You know what? That's not bad. That that last crystal rerouted me to a shortcut on the other side of that box, so I I saved some time. So while that. You know, little fetch quest was a bit annoying. Um, it, it was okay, actually. Um, I thought it was gonna be way, way worse. Okay, I'll do a cool backflip jump instead. Yeah! That was awesome! And he's killed, 59, 3 out of 7. Fuck, challenge found. No, no challenge found. So what fun time are we gonna go to? Uh, pre pre prohibition? It just jumps me here with no context. Well, why do I have uh, cowboy clothes? Is it like the reverse of Skynet, where it actually provides me with age-appropriate clothing as soon as I jump through? Okay, who died? Who died? I can't see it. Arc Stanton. Arch. Stanton. Oh, oh, sure. So let's just basically probably do the same type of level that we just did, but in a Western setting. Founded by prostitutes in 1792, Duke Nukem Town has since become a relic of the past, providing very little enjoyment nowadays. Booties, boots. Is it? Is it just the, this this t era's version? Madame Bootes. Okay. I can't wait to get the cholera or the clap from being in here. Like, it's not, you shouldn't want to go back to this age and and, and, and enjoy the, the accompaniment you can get in an establishment like this. It's very risky. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, I like that. Are there fucking torsos? Is she? How is she doing that? Let me see your can can, baby. <laughs> okay, so that was Duke Nukem time to kill, and uh, I certainly 
killed about 30 minutes of give or take of everyone's time out there. Uh, let me know if you want to see some other of the dumber Duke Nukem games. Uh, like I said before, there's um, uh, Land of the Babes and Zero Hour and, uh, you know, there's even some of the uh, Duke Nukem 3D ports were, were kind of stupid. Had some unique things about them. So, uh, yeah, Duke Nukem. He's from the 90s and uh, he should probably stay there.